Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something a little bit out of my channel comfort zone. It's my comfort zone altogether. And I wanted to kind of do like and like a drama video. Oh my gosh. I never I did like two of these, but I was like, it's really not me. But I was on Twitter and it was just like so much going on. Okay, like the whole John Cookian situation. Comment down below if you've been following this whole John Cookian situation because I honestly used to really like John Cookian. I uh, watched his videos all the time. I would leave comments. You know, I would um, follow him on Twitter. Oh, I still follow him. I follow him on Twitter, but like I was a big supporter of John Cookian because he wasn't like the he wasn't the average drama channel i don't know like i follow rich lux i follow here for the tea i follow uh i am zo with his messy mondays but those aren't really drama videos that zo does they're kind of just like updates on what's going on but i feel like rich lux and john cookie and, and like here for the tea i feel like they kind of like sprinkle in their own like little seasoning into like the drama pot and then start more stuff up so tell me if you guys like follow certain drama channels i don't know like it's just it was so much but like he's been calling this guy named peter like a pervert or like a, no like a, a pedophile or whatever he's been calling him that and i looked up the peter guy i haven't watched his videos like tell me down below if you guys follow the peter guy but i think he makes drama videos too so it's kind of like four drama channels are starting drama which with, with each other so which makes me think it's all a ploy to get more drama started i don't know but like the whole pervert and pedophile thing like that's really big to accuse somebody of something like that because i don't know john if you don't know like that's a crime i i'm just saying because those are serious accusations that could really really mess up someone's reputation forever forever like so i don't think it's funny if john is doing stuff like that it's just so much and then like john always says he has like receipts on tip on certain things but like he'll never release them or he'll release them in a video and then he'll take the video down or like he'll say something and tweet it and then like he'll delete the tweet and here for the tea just reads him lord jesus like she just goes in on everybody she has a very 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 popular channel and then like rich lux i love me some rich lux i follow him i love him and i really like his videos because he seems like the most kind of down to earth one out of all of them john cooking kind of seems like a little stuck up and then here for the tea is like oh uh-uh like she's really i don't know i feel like if i met her in, in person she would be kind of like bougie a little bit but then like rich luck seems like if you met him in person he'd be like really down to earth and like really cool and really sweet and i could just sit there and like kiki i don't know because rich lux was just like i'm not dylan you know he was just over it and i didn't know john cookie and rich lux used to follow each other i thought maybe they had beef or whatever but people was like their friends and like they comment on each other's videos and they'd be watching each other's lives and stuff it's just so much going on and like the whole james charles situation oh my gosh like james charles did some kind of video i don't know i don't really follow him on instagram i follow him on twitter i don't follow him on instagram i don't follow him on youtube i used to but after his whole like little um what was it he made some type of comment about going to ethiopia i think it was ethiopia i think he went to ethiopia and he made some type of really racist comment and i was like how about a no i used to enjoy some of his look and um, I got a lot of inspiration from some of his looks sometimes but then like he would just be really controversial and he just kind of did too much for me so I was like ah. he did a video and I'm guessing people sent him products and my girl Alyssa Ashley now that is my girl I love her oh my gosh she has hooded eyes like me so I feel like we're sisters she sent him an elf blush and baby let me tell you something about elf blushes okay because that dark elf blush palette will give you all the life you need for like three or four dollars elf blushes are the shiz for real I think the dollar ones are probably even good like just don't sleep on elf don't don't do that but like people were coming for her people were reading her for sending him like a three dollar blush and I'm like girl like girl people use elf if a product is good 
then you can use that product. Like if it's trash, you don't need to use it or you don't use it. Like I didn't know that once you reach a certain status or you know that you have to go straight into only using luxury brands or if you can buy it out of Walgreens or if you can buy it from Walmart, like you can't use it like girl, what am I wearing today? I'm wearing Milani blush today. Yeah, people were coming for her and I just did not appreciate that. I love Alyssa Ashley. I follow her on Instagram for the longest and then she finally made a YouTube. I, don't know, I just had to sit down and talk about it and I'm probably talking really, really fast because I normally talk really, really fast when I'm just normally talking. So tell me below if you guys are following all these situations. Like it went in on Twitter on like Christmas Eve Eve and Christmas Eve. Like it was just so much going on and I was just sitting there like, but yes, let me know down below if you guys follow any of these drama channels or whatever. And just let me know what you think about that. Like, let me know what you think about like beauty gurus or YouTubers or bloggers, whatever, getting up into, you know, like the high society blogger world and like they don't use like affordable makeup anymore they don't wear like regular clothes every time you see them it has to be like designer this designer that i don't know like let me know what you guys think down below i have my own feelings of it and maybe i've got foundation everywhere really maybe being a drama channel is my calling who thinks so no I don't have that much energy to devote to these videos that much. Or maybe I do, I don't know, we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video made sense, which it probably did not. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, give it a thumbs down. I, I appreciate both. Either way, don't you leave before hitting that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter at Ishimia and follow me on Instagram, that is at Ishimia. Don't forget to enter my Morphe Brushes giveaway. The link to the video will be the first link down in the description bar. Right under that will be my Instagram and Twitter, so make sure you click all three of those links, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!